Ho ho ho! Welcome, friends, to this month's Generation One podcast, featuring yours truly, Robotnik Sexy, and <laughs> as as, as the British Robotnik Santa, Santa Claus, <laughs> British Santa Claus, <laughs> mixed with Sean Connery. I don't. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> totally, there's total Sean Connery in there. I have, uh, sir, yeah. Inter- introduce yourselves already. <laughs> I was, I was giving you an opportunity to introduce yourselves. So. This never goes as planned. You guys know who we are. Yeah, by now, by if, now if, if yeah. Tech. Well, I don't know. Maybe someone is uh, clicking on this and they've never seen. We could get new listeners. We yeah, could. It's. I think. It's I apologize, new listeners. If you are new, <sighs> I love you. <laughs> He's You're quick. new, please stay. <laughs> <laughs> please stay. <laughs> Don't sound so desperate. <laughs> Anyhow, well, anyway, the topic of today... Uh, British, British Santa, what are we talking about this month? Oh, this month we're talking about Mega Pokemon. And, uh, yes. and which, which three are the best and which three are the worst. Yes, this month, specifically in competitive play. Uh, so, we're each going to go through, list our top three, then fight about them, and then list our bottom three and fight about them. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll cover uh, cover everything that was that we missed quickly. Fight we'll try. It. There's a bunch of these guys. So Aren't there only like 30? Or are there less? That's I mean, a lot to talk about. Are there 30? An hour, an hour and a half. I think there might... I'm not even... Are there like 20? Let me see. I don't know. One, two. Three. I feel like there aren't that many. I should probably pull up a list because I don't remember. Them. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There's 28. 28. Right now. Okay. 28 as of now, oh. and there are uh, some that have been confirmed to be coming up, like Mega Latias. Mm. But we can't talk about that one yet. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. Since we don't know what it does. Well, I, I know what its ability is. Uh, what is its ability? I haven't heard anything about it since the first leak. It. I've heard it's a fairy dragon and gets multi-scale. <laughs> it makes sense. I wondered why they didn't have a fairy dragon. But the, um, so, the, so it, it, it's super busted. It's super <laughs> going to be good. It gets recover and multi-scale. I, I heard it might be quick banned, which I hope isn't true, because I want to see it kick some ass before. It oh, I'll banned. totally abuse it if they don't ban it immediately. Yeah. All right. Well, that's in the future, so we can talk about that when it happens. Um, for yeah, now, Marty let's talk fine. about... Uh, let's set some ground rules... We're not including the Mewtwo forms, obviously, and we're also not going to include Gengar and Blaziken, since they've both been already banned to Ubers, uh, if they have their Megastone on them. And they're both super, super well, good. Is, is so. Speed Boost Blaziken banned still? Uh, uh, I don't know sure. if, it, if it's... I don't think it is. I'm not, right I actually now. don't know. Uh, it might just be the item that's banned. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was just the item too, but I'm not positive. <clears throat> If if but it is anyhow. just the item, there's going to be a, some massive confusion because in fifth gen they just banned Blaziken outright. Yeah. Oh, so, so someone will have to f- figure that out. Someone will leave a comment and let us know. In any case, Mega Blaziken and Mega Gengar are both really really good. So yeah, we just cut them off so there'd be a little more diversity in the list. So who wants to go first? Um. Hmm. I don't Start really... at number three. Oh, well, okay. that's even harder. Um, you mean the th- the third best mega in the game, or, or what yes, you... third okay. best. Well, I think the third um... best is uh, Mawile. Mawile, interesting. Yeah. Why? Oh wait, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I was I I was going to include Gengar in the list, but then he got banned, so I can't talk yeah. about him. Yeah. Um, hmm, I guess Mawal just got bumped to number two for Mega. Uh, maybe the third best is uh, Lucario then. So Lucario's Lucario. pretty good. He's, he's ni- nice and threatening. Yeah, so Lucario, uh, I'll read off his base stats. 
we talk about him. Well, actually, it might just be better. Why don't you just give us three, two, one, Andy? We'll do them all. Okay. I, I think a lot of them are probably going to overlap. I, I think we're going to agree on all these. Uh, yeah. I think the third. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you go well, ahead. Andy. Okay. I think third best is Lucario, second best is okay. Mawile, and then number one is Kangaskhan, who needs to be banned very badly. <laughs> and he will be banned soon, I'm very sure of it. Are um, we doing, like, the ones we think are the best or the ones that we like using the most? No, 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 the ones think we think are, are the best, the best oh. uh, according to yeah, members. I don't like this list, then. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. We already did, we already talked about which ones we liked and didn't like a while ago, so... All right, well, then, while ago. you think about yours, Nick, I'm going to go ahead and go. If that's okay. That's, yeah, I don't really okay. know. Yeah, so I actually have the same three as Andy, just in a different order. Uh, I have my while at number three, just because of its speed. I think it struggles out. It, it needs more help. <laughs> I think it has the highest uh, attack in the game, period. 210? I'm not pure sure. Power? I'm not sure. Maybe. I kind of doubt that, but it's definitely as well. I don't know. It's strong. It's super but strong. I think Stronger I do than think Mega Mewtwo X. Standing alone, Mega Lucario is a little better. Um, just because he is really pretty fast. Yeah. And has a stupid ability <laughs> and hits really hard. And has extreme speed. So And stab bullet punch the slash adaptability. Yeah, the adaptability yeah. bullet punch is basically built in extreme speed with less priority. Yep. Yeah. But in, yeah. Well that's why I like the extreme speed. Um I think he probably even outspeeds Talonflame if they run Adamant over Jolly. Uh, Tal- hmm. I think because a lot of a lot of Talonflame sets aren't running max speed. They're yeah, running that's AP true. Attack. So I, Talonflame can outspeed him, but I don't think the way it's being built right now, it will very often. Yeah, I so, think most Talonflames are running 132 speed EVs, which yeah. makes them slightly slower than Gengar. So, but it doesn't matter because Brave Bird, priority Brave Bird. But yeah, uh, Luke. I mean, extreme speed cancels that out anyhow because it's plus two priority, so it always goes first. Um, yeah, he's just really strong by himself. And then my number one is also Kangaskhan. That guy is freaking ridiculous. Yeah, he has <laughs> no. He's, he. I don't think he even has really any checks. Like the only real. Ghost- Check him pretty well. Yeah, but who, you have who? to. Uh, uh, Mega, 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 oh yeah, Mega. Tra- I I love switching in Trevenant. Yeah, on Kangaskhan. But I mean, if they just they can't. Up. Gengar closes, shuts him down too. He can't do any any ghost anybody. shuts him down. But if they're smart, well, yeah. if they're smart and they run substitute, then you're like done. But he has four move syndrome. Like if they're in yeah. substitute, then they're missing something else that's gonna let you take him out. Yeah, that's true. Like, almost see all with of them Gengar don't. though, he can sucker punch you. Yeah. Well, Gengar runs substitute though. True. Yeah, I've been running Will O Wisp with Gengar, and it's been quite yeah. successful. Like Gengar, unless you have a, a life or a life or four attack variant, Gengar is just gonna shut him down. And if he if they opt for crunch over the sucker punch, then of guys that are going to outspeed him. Well, so. then you outrun him. And then... Right. But, but I, I mean, he's very, very strong. He's super Don't bulky, wrong, too. But... He's 100. Both defenses are 100, and he's got 105 HP. So you're not going to yeah. take him out in one hit, like, regardless. So that's kind of a problem. And then his speed is 100, too. So every right. stat is 100 or up, except for except special, special attack. special attack, which is great, because he doesn't need it. <laughs> Although, so I've heard be special attacking Mega Kangaskhan is also broken. Cause he gets, I don't believe that. Because he, he can like get 20% freezes with Ice Beam and just keep doing it until you get frozen. I've heard that people actually <laughs> do that. <laughs> I don't know, that seems gimmicky. It yeah. does sound gimmicky and dumb, but uh, one of my friends was talking about it. I, I'll just take, <laughs> I'll take double return. Oh, like definitely. You, just it's... kill everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think the o- only thing that kind of keeps him in check is the fact that he can only learn four moves because you can't get <laughs> only, everything with the four the only, moves. That you the only thing that keeps him in check is himself. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's so dumb. Yeah, like uh, I was saying, I s- left a comment somewhere. Um, because, like, people were telling me that the best way to defeat Kangaskhan is not to attack him. And I'm like, 
Can you listen to yourself? <laughs> that is well, that's fucking what I do with, broken. Uh, that's what I do with my Trevenant. I bring a Trevenant. I, I know. With, and they're absolutely and then I right. And then I, or, or I will wisp and then I substitute, and then I leech seed, and then I substitute, and then I substitute, and then I substitute. <laughs> just sit there while he doesn't do anything. Burning him is It's the only very way. Effective. It's the only way. Because he can't carry a Lumberry. Burn, burning <laughs> Ghost, uh, he does have trouble getting through Skarmory, too. Like, even I've, double power-up punch I've is not... I've heard he not... can take down Skarmory after he power-up punches with return, so... Uh, I don't, don't think mm, so. I'm sure Maybe the specially defensive one. I don't think he can take down a defensive one. Because I've, I've used him on my team that I'm using right now, and I've been stopped by a Skarmory before. I mean, it, it will hurt Skarmory a lot, but he can take the power-up punch and then the return if he is defensively invested yeah normally skarmory would be a good check but i've heard that even he can be overwhelmed by kangaskhan which is like i mean he can probably anything can even run can he get fire blast um yes he can get fire yeah. blast <laughs> <laughs> so that's an option i think and, hypothetically and once... anything can be bested by kangaskhan but more than likely the things that are going to take him out won't be yeah i think the reason he might go uber is the same reason that they ended up Salamence went uber at the end of fourth gen is that it no matter what set you're running you're always going to have counters for it but you're not going to know what you need until he's already killed two of your guys because he can just do whatever he wants pretty much so there's always whatever set you're running there's going to be checks for it but your opponent's not going to know what the right check is and if they guess wrong then he just runs over your team so. and then of course there's the whole attacking twice business <laughs> yeah, that's kind of busted. <laughs> that's super busted. <laughs> Just okay, so I guess I'm gonna do my. Oh yeah, we kind of. Yep, go ahead. <laughs> we kind of. I mean, ran they're more or less you. the same, but just to be different, I'm gonna at the meta game right now. I'm gonna put Mega Absol at three. Uh huh. Just because of how many like Stealth Rock users, how many, um, you know, Clef keys are flying around and everything like it. I am still surprised how when I lead with Absol, people still are stupid. Yeah, yeah. like they're Absol, still status Absol would be you. my honorable mention. He is he's very good, but he can be good. But if people are smart, frail. if people are smart, which is asterisk because a lot of people are dumb, um, they will just attack you and then Absol I think will die. Absol's a lot harder to use than yeah. the gu the than the three I listed, and I think that's why he didn't make my top three. But he, he is a, I I still like him a lot. I, I mean, think he's he did work my he's team, so. smack dab in the middle. I think he's definitely very good, um, but I don't think he makes the top three. I I'd put I mean he'd be number four for me easily. He's better than a lot of these idiots. Oh, uh, well, Charizard X is actually quite good, um, which is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing to even think of Charizard ever being good. It's because fire is not terrible right now. Fire typing is and his, not an Achilles. Just wait deal. twelve days. Or yeah. Days. yeah, tough claws, <laughs> boosted flare blitz, and dragon tails it just hurts a lot. But anyway, I, on, Nick, yeah, we are two. digressing. I, I mean, I guess Mawile. Kang is gone. I don't want to say those guys because I like using like I like using well, this, Me a Metacham. Oh yeah, Metacham but, is good, but he is uh I don't know. Let's I talk think... about let's talk about these top guys and then yeah. we can Okay. And we can cover <laughs> even we'll, we'll talk about these top guys since we all agree. Then we'll discuss who's good. Cuz there's still <laughs> some good ones. Yeah, they're, they're And then uh, we'll we'll get to the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy to digress, which we've already done. Yeah. We've already digressed. <laughs> so, I guess uh Mawile, that was on everyone's list, right? Let's talk about Mega Mawile. Oh, Mega Mawile. Well, it only really has two weaknesses. It only has two weaknesses, and it has some insane bulk. Uh, well, its <laughs> HP is really low, but its defense, it's, even its special defense, is 95. That's pretty... It's enough to, you, like, it, it won't get one hit KO'd very often. Yeah, and then... Uh, That's good. What is, is, this, is this attack 125 with... No, no it's 105. 105. Okay, it's His 105. defense is 125. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so he's not that much stronger than Mega Metacham, but he's. St I'm still surprised that he has higher attack than Mega Metacham, because Mega Metacham kind of needs the higher attack. 
Well, they gave Metacham speed, so he didn't get all the attack. Yeah. And it's only... Mega, Me, Metacham's 100, right? Yeah, so it's, it's not 100. Like it's a huge difference. It's not a huge it's difference, but it's... Uh, I mean, the the bigger difference is the typing. Yeah. Mama has the typing. Yeah, yeah that, that typing is incredible. Very in steel. Um, not to mention, you get an Intimidate, too, before you Mega Evolve, which yeah. makes it even bulkier. Yeah. Uh, Depending on who you switch into or... Yeah, well, I mean, you can switch in with the Intimidate and force a switch, and then you get to Mega Evolve for free, so it's win-win. I haven't, uh, I haven't quite done it yet, but if you, if you get a Trick Room singles team, you need this guy. He's just going to just sweep their entire team. Yeah, that's what I was going to mention. The only thing that his biggest downside is his speed. Uh, it doesn't outspeed anything. So. In but Trick it, Room, it will speed everything. Right. You need <laughs> I feel like you almost need Trick Room to what's, really what's take advantage like, of it. But then again, he, not he, he has, it, like, he has that Sucker IV. Punch. Uh, right, it has Sucker Punch, but it's also very predictable. Yeah, it's very easy to play um, around, I will admit that. I think yeah. he's much better in Trick Room, but he's still very threatening without Trick Room. But uh, yeah, yeah, he's definitely good without, but I wouldn't put him at... Like, I wouldn't have put him on at number three unless his Trick Room abilities were better. Yeah, I feel like, like Trick Room got better in this game. Um, uh, there are a lot of Pokemon that are actually slower than base 50. I think Conkeldur is one, but he's not going to last long against a Steel Fairy, so that is kind of goes on the window. Aromatisse is oh, like. Oh, he can get a. He gets slow. Fire Punch. He gets Fire Fang. He <laughs> champ, too. Yeah, but how, sl how slow Machamp is? Yeah, but again, does Conkeldur not get Fire Punch? Uh, he does, but he's not going to kill him with that 125 defense. It, it's going to do like a quarter of Mawel's health, and then he'll be one shot by Play Rough. So it isn't really worth. No, it's going to do way more than a quarter, I think. Are you talking? If you're talking about um, Iron Fist. Well, I wasn't talking about Iron Fist, but sure. It'll do more, it just won't kill. Or even Guts. I mean, yeah, it, it, yeah it's not going to kill it in one hit, but it's going to probably be a two-hit KO, I would it's say. It's just that typing. Have. That typing. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but Play Rough can miss. Play Rough can miss. <laughs> it's happened. Yeah, but it's pretty accurate, and also it can lower it's, their attack, is which is super it's annoying. It's 90, 90. 90 damage, 90 accuracy. Yeah. It screwed me over recently. I'm so used to like running, um, like when I when I use Azumarill, it wasn't last gen Waterfall ninety. No, no, it's no. always been it eighty. Was eighty still. Aqua no. Tail was ninety ninety. It's like Play Rough is basically Aqua Tail but Fairy. I thought Aqua Tail was a hundred. No, last gen. No, it's never been a hundred. Okay. It's okay. I never use it. They they so. they moved around the damage, uh, base damage in this game, so it gets confusing. Yeah, they weakened a lot of them. Yeah, which is fine with me. It makes yeah, it, <laughs> it makes the game it slightly offense. longer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it. I think it varies the move pools a little bit too. Yeah, just a little bit, not like too much, but just enough to like you can notice it. Like people are running, just slightly different moves on. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. It decreased the value of like the big, the hundred and twenty moves. Yeah, they completely. They're even worse now because now you're still gambling with accuracy and you're getting less bang for your buck. So, unless you are running like a life orb set, you're probably you're you're gonna think a lot harder about maybe running the lower powered versions mm -hmm. instead. Can I just talk about one thing move related that makes me really happy? Okay. What's that? When people still use outrage. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to mention Outrage. Outrage. It's completely... Because I just switched um, into Zoomerol and they can't do anything. <laughs> yeah. I, it's really bad, except as a closer. I still think, like, Dragon Dance, uh, Max Speed, Max Attack, Dragonite is still going to be a finisher. Like, once you kill the fairies... The fairies it's good, but yeah, a lot of people just go for it in the middle of a game, and, and that's it's bad. a huge swing. I still have a fairy. I mean, if they don't yeah. have a fairy on their team, then by all means, then go for it. But but. I'm like, I'm sitting here with an Azumarill on my team, <laughs> yeah. still full health, and they'll outrage, and I'm like, okay. Well, I think a lot of people, too, forget what's a fairy now. 
Oh yeah, like that's I've true. done it. I've done it with Tojikis. I forgot that was a fairy. Yeah, I keep and thinking it switched in on an outrage. Is like, oh, it's been I lose the, then. It's been a normal <laughs> that, type. That happened to me. I I dragon tailed, and I was like, wait, yep, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't work? Dang it! <laughs> I think it was. I don't know which one it was. It was I think it was called Fable, because like. And I don't know why I wouldn't think that was a fairy, but I just, like, for some reason, like, I was like, oh, Chansey's normal. This thing's probably normal. Yeah. Oh, thank God Blissey isn't a fairy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Name. I was so afraid that it was going to be a fairy. Make yeah. a Blissey is fairy. Book onesie. I mean, they, they gave Wigglytuff Fawner as being the only normal fairy. Yeah. So she can do something with that, maybe, but... Right. Uh, we got Mawile, we got Kangaskhan. Um, all right, let's. We talked about Absol a little bit, but I guess we could we talk finish up Absol. on him. Yeah, he's very good. You just he is very delicate. delicate. His defenses do not increase at all when he goes Mega. You have to um, predict pretty well with him. Yeah, he he can survive a hit. Usually, maybe <laughs> not a super effective, not a super effective hit, but he can normally survive a hit from full health. Mm, that sixty sixty uh, defense, it's pretty good. But yeah, he's very frail, but he's also very good uh, when used correctly. I feel like he needs superpower, and he can't get it yet. So that makes me kind of sad. I don't know if I'd run superpower. Well, the old Absol Mine's... always ran superpower to, right, to deal what, with dark types. I don't types. know what it does now, but his other moves don't. Like, play rough seems like a just better option. It's weaker and less accurate. But you can stay in and sweep. And it lowers. The, it can lower their attack as well. Yeah, I guess. What is the, like, what is the chance know. for I, that? I mean, it would, it'll be nice when he has the option to run it, but I don't think I'd run it on mine. I'm going to make a new Absol with all attack investment and naive nature. The one, one just like yours, and I'm going to give it play yeah, off. That's, I think that's the way to go. Like, I'm going to see how it goes. Mine had two special attacks, but they were mostly for very specific things mm -hmm. that would like to switch in on him, and they just, like, Ferrothorn comes in, dead. Pretty Three, dead. Four attacks? Yeah, four mm -hmm. attacks. I use, yeah. I'm, I'd use uh, Swords Dance, Sucker Punch, play, uh, play Rough, and fire blast. See, I don't, I don't have a swords dance because I found it you too hard to get that. a free turn. But then you I, get wall well, by Glissor. It helps me, like when, like let's say they lead with Klefki, and I yeah. like for whatever reason, and I lead with Absol. Like obviously they're gonna switch out. So then you get a free. I mean, unless game. unless they're gonna put up a right, sub for whatever reason. But then you're reason. setting up a, a swords dance on the first turn. I, I mean, like, are you? You're still not going to sweep them. But it's a free mega evo evolution. and Yeah, it, well, so is just attacking. That's true. But I just... I mean, Swords Dance, Sucker Punch... Yeah, it's really it's strong. Yeah. I mean, he has 150 base attack. But there's no denying that. I just... I, I found it too hard to get him a chance to do that. I'd rather just come in and start killing stuff right away. And I, mine was a finisher too. Like I never brought it in early game unless I needed to magic bounce, and unless it was like a safe switch because you can come in on Clefkey repeatedly. Clefkey, even foul play won't do much. So I'm surprised uh, it, does, it doesn't do that much. Too. Does less than half, probably around a third. So you can come in on it a, a couple times. That's with stealth rock damage too. So mm. because he resisted and I don't know. It's just it doesn't. Well, he does. Klefki doesn't have anything. the dark stab. That's probably why it doesn't right. do a lot. Yeah. So you can come in on Klefki a lot, but generally I wouldn't use him until the end of the game, and then he just closes the game out because he's faster than pretty much everything, and he hits a lot of stuff for super effective. So. Yeah. He's definitely tricky to use, but he's good. Yeah, he's good. Uh, I wouldn't. And then we have uh, Lucario. It's the last of the four we all picked. Lucario. Um, I've actually I've never used him. I've fought Lucarios, and I'm every time uh, they attack me, I think I'm gonna get one hit KO'd, and then I survive. So <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, Lucario is definitely good, but in my mind, I expect him to be better, and, and then I, I don't know. He's he's I feel a, like yeah. A lot of the times I hit him, and I will kill it. And I'm like, I expected it to survive. 
It doesn't have very yeah, good defense. It's got it eight, doesn't 88, have great 70. Defenses. And uh, so. 70, 88 is okay on the physical side to take a hit. Mm-hmm. But if you hit him super effectively, he probably will yeah, die. Yeah, he will die. <laughs> I had somebody... Um, bullet. I, I think they bullet punched my Tyrant Tower, and I was, um, I was testing weakness policy mm-hmm. on my Tyrant Tower. Mm-hmm. And so I survived the bullet punch, and then I fire blasted it <laughs> and killed it. <laughs> and it was great. <laughs> I mean, I think the old set on this guy is pretty good. <laughs> like, I don't. I know a lot of people are running bullet punch, and I don't know if that's right. I feel like sword stance extreme speed is better. I think and you just you just know. use close combat. I but think, there's fairies. I think you need to use your uh, stab with adaptability. Um, I I think Iron Head should be used on him, but he can't get that pre poke bank. I think it, I could see Iron Head. I don't like the the seal weakness of Fairy though. In it, I'm not even the guys I, that are the fairies that are being used. I, I don't even care about fairies. I'm just saying the adaptability will make Iron Head super powerful. Like yeah, but Steel still sucks. Even resisted, it's gonna do like half your health because the adaptability. Well, so it was close combat. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying I almost... Iron Head is going to kill Glissor, so that is kind of a thing. Is it a two-hit KO? I think it is, yeah, on Glissor because of adaptability and stab. Yeah. I don't know. It might, yeah, Iron Head might be good. I don't think Bullet Punch is the way to go, though. I would probably choose extreme. extreme speed and I, I don't know if it gets Iron extreme head. speed yet. Though. I believe it gets it by level. I think it does. I thought it did okay. in fourth gen. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go, especially with Talon Flame around. Just use extreme speed as your priority attack, and yeah, either use go for Iron Head or I was even coverage. thinking about Iron Tail, <laughs> which <laughs> gave me a nasty taste in my mouth because that move is just so bad. Yeah, Iron Head's way better. <laughs> yeah, but I think he has to get it from Pokebank, which makes me mad. Oh. Oh, soon. Soon. Ten days. Yeah, just Poke right. Gen him and then trade him. He'll be like, yeah, he's perfect. Woo. Unless they block it somehow. Yeah, we could talk about Pokebank and how it makes We can do that next next. Because episode. it'll be out. and we'll <laughs> it'll be come out. Oh, that, well, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. I'll do it next time. Can we <laughs> talk about ones we think can possibly Other good ones? be yeah. okay? Yeah, who do you want to talk about next? I like Mega Aggron. Mega Aggron, interesting. I think Explain. if you have a bulky stall team, he's really good. Like, his defense is ridiculous. His defense is ridiculous. It's absolutely his HP ridiculous. is not, though. I still think he has... I, I still think he'd make, he would make a decent, like... I don't know... I think defense core. in order to really use him to his full defensive capability, you have to give him a lot of special defense investment. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Max HP, max special defense is probably the best. Also, and you could put, or you could pull assault vest on him. He can't. Oh, he, he can't. can't <laughs> but he can't <laughs> use items. <laughs> oh, we we need to talk about uh, how a lot of these mega evolutions fall short because they can't use other items. Yeah. All the bulky ones are way worse. Yeah, it's like, they oh, they would be so good with leftovers, but they can't, it's like, because they're mega like Venusaur. Mega Venusaur would be so good if it could hold leftovers, but it can't, so it's mediocre. Same with Mega Agron. The same with the Agron. And Tarantar. I mean, and Tarantar. And, yeah, and like Kangaskhan. normal I mean, Tarantar. Kangaskhan's is already super good, but can and you imagine if Kangaskhan could hold leftovers? It gets Drain Punch after Pokebank. So yeah, but that's another. Then you're gonna have two fighting moves. Then your coverage is gonna be terrible. Snow. I I, 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 I want to use a bombless note to success because I've seen people uh, do really well with him, but only only like one person. The set I used had a sash, so I can't like. I mean, yeah. I've seen it, a, I, a really good mixed attacking set. Any fire move, and he's done. Well, sure. Well, yeah. his defenses aren't Getting back terrible, to but his Mega Aggron. At least his ability is nice. Yeah, yeah. that's really good. He gets, and uh, um, uh, we have to bring up how he's like the heaviest Pokemon in the game. I think he is. In the universe. Yeah, so yeah. his heavy slam is going to hit for a lot. Let's see yeah. how much he weighs. He weighs a heavy His slam. German name <laughs> is Stolos. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. Just you're not going to want to run Rockhead, though, because you don't have the... 
Uh, he weighs eight hundred and seventy point eight pounds. It's pretty heavy. I think that other Pokemon might be heavier than that. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I compared him to Snorlax, like and Snorlax is like half that weight. Probably half. Agri I mean, uh, well, Snorlax he's, isn't he's, made of steel. He's not going to be. <laughs> he's not going to be fighting Groudon, so I don't think that really counts. It should be considered. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking of things that were heavier. What is the Metagross is probably pretty heavy. Pokemon. Uh, anyhow, any anyone else that we think is pretty good? Uh, Medicham has potential. Medich Medicham. Medi I think Medicham and Houndoom have about as much potential, but they both kind of fall short a little bit. I think Mega Scissor is decent. Oh, Mega Scissor is really good, actually. It I've, is I've very bulky. I've been running into them. And <laughs> it can now change moves, which is scary. I Yeah, it's probably one of the only uh, Pokemon that can reliably set up on the first turn, and you yeah. can't really do anything about it, because his defenses are so massive. I mean, his special defense is, is decent, which is nice. Uh, but his physical defense is really good. Like, he, like he's very hard to do a KO. That's insane. Um, I don't. He doesn't hit quite as hard as regular Scissor without the Swords Dance, but the ability to change moves kind of compensates for that. <clears throat> and Roost. And the he, sub Roost set he, is pretty scary. He is the only Mega who gets re reliable recovery. Um, uh, oh, actually, Charizard X can use Roost as well, with, yeah. without even being a flying type, so that's a good... But Scissor thing. has pushpin legs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we need to talk about how ugly Mega Scissor <laughs> is. They're all pretty ugly, yeah. or a lot of them. So hey, I wasn't going to get into that again, Do you remember? we already talked about do it. Do you remember, um, <laughs> what's that, Tales Symphonia, when we played that game? Yes. Uh, you remember Four Cestus? The guy with like the arm with that was made of gold. Yes. That's what he reminds me of with those hands. Like <laughs> he reminds me of a Beetleborg. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, so does. There's three of them in there. There's yeah. Heracross, Scissor, and yeah. and, uh, Pincer. Pincer. <laughs> there's Big Bad Beetleborg. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bad. But yeah, I remember this song. Scissor oh is my good. gosh. Mega Heracross's attack is 185. Yeah. That's. I got. In I found out how annoying Mega Heracross Pin Missile is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I think I've only faced one and I killed it immediately. He would be so. pretty good on a Trick Room team because his speed is not that great. Yeah, funny. he's definitely bulky though. Like eighty yeah. one fifteen one hundred five is enough to take a hit and dish out some pain. Yeah. I think Amphros has <laughs> potential. Maybe I've seen uh, a, in doubles. I've seen a couple uh, uh, agility doubles. Amphoroses, and it's I just can't wrap my His head around. His base speed is forty five. I know, but people people, <laughs> people run sticky web. Room. People run sticky web, and then they use agility on Amphoros, and he's got enough special attack to like sweep. I've seen it more than once, and it makes my head hurt each time because he only has forty five speed. <laughs> Trick room. He, that's, I don't know, that's a lot of effort to make a very mediocre Pokemon. Well, actually, uh, <laughs> he gets at, at uh, top speed possible, 207. You don't even need Sticky Web because you're going to have 414 speed. That's not terrible. It won't be out no, running a you lot. Still, you get out speed by literally everything with a scarf, though, still. Yeah, and there are a lot of um, Mega Pokemon that can outrun Scarf Pokemon. Or, mm -hmm. yeah, I said that in the right order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He seems... I've like I said, <laughs> Trick Room doubles. It's, I don't know. I, I think Mawile is just so much better that there's, like, no reason to even... Yeah, but he's a, he's a physical. This guy's a special attacker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I really like using Mega Blast toys, even though he's terrible. <laughs> I've only I've only think I faced him once. I don't think I have. He didn't at all. do anything. <laughs> uh, I really he seems okay. He's he's very middle of the road. He's not. Yeah. Like I have rapid spin, aura sphere, dark pulse, water pulse, and I mm -hmm. I give him max HP, max special attack, modest, and 
he can yeah. take those hits really well. The base 120, 115 defenses. Um, and I don't know. Uh, he's he's a really good offensive spinner, who is not Starmy, or Exedril. <laughs> so he's like in that family. It just I don't know. I would feel like such a yeah, waste using him as, Mega Evolution as a spinner. spinner. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Most of Mega Pokemon uh, are pretty mediocre, so I don't feel like it's a waste. Uh, his, yeah. his special attack is so well, 135. It's pretty good. I mean, I do feel like the a lot of the best Mega Pokemon are the utility. <laughs> a lot of the know. best Mega Pokemon are going to be banned. <laughs> uh, very what about Mega Alakazam? Mega Alakazam Bad. is in a very interesting place because... Um, his ability is... I mean, if he got Magic really Guard... Bad. You can't hold a Focus Ash bad. Like, Alec, regular Alakazam is just better. It's really sad. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't know. Well, what is it? his defense? His, def, his, his, def, his defense goes up, right? 60. Special defense is 95. Defense is 65. Yes, it goes up to 65. <laughs> <laughs> From I believe thirty five. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe him. Doesn't because he can't have a focus sash anymore. That was like the best thing about Alakazam. Yeah. the Wonder Guard focus of sash guaranteed that he, you the, got to do something. The height of his use was when weather was uh, everywhere, so he wouldn't get yeah. buffeted by sandstorm. Uh, but th th having a free focus sash is still really good because you can just save it. Yeah, um, he's the only guy who can do that reliably. Yeah. So. Um, all right. Well, let's talk about the bad ones now that we're kind of into the mediocre guys. We'll come back to that. Oh, but man. let's I'll talk about first, them. so you can laugh at me. All right. <laughs> okay. Three worst. Starting at number three and moving on. Oh, the solid the worst or the, oh the three. We're going bottom sorry, worst. Technically, three would be second. the third. The, worst. the best of the three. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, uh, well, I should have been prepared. Um. I, um, um, okay, somebody else go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andy, are you ready? Am I ready? I am so ready. Uh, okay. It's very easy to pick three that are bad. Uh, I'm going to say... Not bad, the worst. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, we already talked about ones that were just kind of bad, mediocre. These guys are bottom, bottom tier, bottom of the barrel. These guys, you wouldn't okay. want to be caught dead with their disgusting. So I'm going to use them. Yeah. I think Mega Bennett might be the worst because um, he can't use... No, we're starting at three. That's why it's hard. Well, I don't care. I'm sorry. Right. You want me to start with the one who I think is the best of the worst? Best of the worst, Okay, yes. well, forget Mega Bennett. Even though you just blew it. And I just blew it. away what your number one I, was. Oh, no. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> he quits. He's resigned. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to pick the best of the worst. Um, That's why I deferred. I mean, I have my other. You want me to go? Because mine are ready. While well, you guys look over your things. Uh, I'm also waiting to hear yours, your choices. Because <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm not being stupid. Um, <laughs> I guess. Number three might be Ampharos. I know I've mm -hmm. seen Ampharos do work, so I know he can do work. So that's why he's the best of the worst. He's well, the, the fact that you pick him as best of the worst yeah, he's confirms that he is, in fact, the worst. Because we all know how much you love bad Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I love those bad Pokemon. It's true. I do like them. You do very well with them. I, I mean, <laughs> you do way better with them than I. I, I just I can't do it. Do you find the way to squeeze all the value out of it? <laughs> yeah, I do like it. <coughs> it's a mangled mess of poke of jeans. All right, so uh, he's the best of the worst. The second banana worst is Mega Aerodactyl. Uh, okay. Because he's just underwhelming in every way. It's very sad. He, he gets tough claws, and he only gets one attack to use tough claws <laughs> with. It's like, who thought that was a good idea? Um, he only gets one one physical attack. One that only one that triggers his ability. One that is close contact, which is how he used to. Like the only he can, I think the only move he gets is uh, aerial ace for that. So is this pre Pokebank or 
This is pre Pokemon, but I don't think so he'll get any. He could, I don't think he's going to get much better. I don't though. think he's going to get any <laughs> extra moves. That I mean, he. I guess he could use Fire Fang and stuff, and they would get Tough Claws. And they they do, and still do no damage. Yeah. You should give him a move called Rock Punch. Uh, I think the only physical uh, contact rock move is Head Smash. Pretty sure, or maybe, uh, hmm, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. I really wish he got head smash. At least of the usable ones. Yeah. But I think every other rock attack is uh, uh, long range, so it isn't close. close Stone range. Edge and Rock Slide definitely are. And those yeah. are the only Stone Edge is confusing, uses. though, because it looks like it's hitting up front, but it actually is not. It is a long distance attack. Uh, so he's second Perfect. banana, and then absolute worst on my list is Mega Banette, which I already mentioned. And I would. I, I I'm really surprised you picked that as the worst. Uh, the only you reason have three completely different ones than I do. The only I reason is use is because he can't use Prankster on the turn he Mega evolves. Is what I keep hearing from people because the speed is determined on the turn that you Mega evolve. So that means you have to use Protect while you transform, which makes him completely or predict a switch. Yeah, or attack, I Which guess. Which is hard. Yeah, but he doesn't get... But he's a ghost. He doesn't get Prankster He'll until get the turn after he uh, Mega Evolves, and that's why he's the worst. Uh, if he got Prankster right away, then I would say he's probably not the worst of the worst. He'd be really good. I still have yet to try it for myself, but I've heard from multiple people that uh, because of the way the speed is to yeah, turn he doesn't. He no. doesn't get oh, yeah, it. I'm sure. That's true, yeah. Yeah, I Definitely. really... I still don't think that makes him work, though. Just the fact that he has a useful ability after yeah. he Mega Bulbs puts him above my three. Okay, I I think I can go now. Okay. okay. Um, for third, I'm going to say... Um, crap, now I lost it. Mm. Houndoom. Houndoom. Uh -huh. Because Poor his Houndoom. ability is shit, in my opinion. <laughs> It's not a very useful one. I just don't one, think though. that he. I don't. I don't think it's very usable. Like, uh -huh. late, like I don't know. Like when you would get him into like. I mean, I don't. I don't know how to explain it. It just seems very situational, kind well, of. Uh -huh. Instead of running nasty plot, you could run sunny day. It would have a similar effect. It would actually have the same effect, except you would hurt yourself. So. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, he would just. <laughs> great. It, it's well, like I think it would be almost worse than like having a life orb on. You know, I, I, on regular Houndoom? I just, yeah. yeah, I don't see, like, it doesn't really seem like it would really, like, helps him that much. Well, the only uh -huh. difference is the fire attacks would do way more uh, with solar power and sunny day. So that could work, maybe. Yeah, but you could have flash fire on your regular But Houndoom. you still have to survive a turn to Mega Evolve. I mean, he's he's kind of, he's fast, but, like... He threatens There's out a lot of people, though. There's stuff that's going to be, like, faster than him. Like, unlike Mega Absol, he actually threatens things out. So, you can run sub-nasty plot and then... Absol. Absol threatens things threatens out. Threatens things out, too. Oh, uh, well, only, like, I guess, Klefki or something. I don't know. Or anything that doesn't want to take a priority soccer punch to the face. Which is most, like, ghosts. <laughs> Yeah, but I think being a niche fire type makes him able to threaten out more Pokemon. Okay, well, s second worst, I'm going to say... Uh, I guess probably Alakazam, just because of the <laughs> difference between his, you know, his mm -hmm. roles. And then worst, I think, is probably... <laughs> Ugh, it's hard. It's a hard choice. I don't know. It is a hard choice. I guess I'll say, like, Obama style kind of sticks out to me. Because, <laughs> like, he doesn't get a bad... Like, he has the same ability, which doesn't really help because, like, now that Permaweather's gone, um, Hail, like, he really won't get the chance to bring up Hail twice. Mm -hmm. Like he's just too fragile. Like his his typing is just so bad. His typing is I bad, think. but he is uh, um, 
He's only fragile if you hit him with like a fire attack. Which is which everything's riddled with friggin' talon flame. <laughs> so he's dead. <laughs> oh. I mean, well, uh, just, even if just run defensive Rotom as a support Pokemon, you'll be you'll be fine. But but I'm defensive saying, Rotom a, still gets like three hit KO'd by talon. As a mega no. Pokemon, to use my <laughs> mega slot as an Obama Snow that can do the same thing it does in mega form, about the same, but with a sash or leftovers or you know, a fire berry or whatever, it, it just seems like it's completely overshadowed. Like, it, it, it does the exact same thing as his other... His, you know, his, his other uh, normal Obama Snow is kind of better because he can use leftovers. He's definitely one of those where it's like, yeah, he could use the leftovers, but he can't. So the only off the only route for Mega Obama Snow is a balls to the walls offensive, which I've seen him do successfully a couple times, but definitely he's not going to be your first choice. But the only way you can do that is under Trick Room because he's got thirty speed. Well, like you, you could do that, or you could um, I don't know. Use something different. I'm saying, like, <laughs> I'm some saying that <laughs> as a Mega Pokemon, his just usefulness is at the the worst. Like he doesn't, he he doesn't do anything out of the ordinary. He, he doesn't. I mean, he gets a little bulkier, but it just doesn't feel like uh, for a but mega. But he actually slot. doesn't because leftovers. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's why I picked him. I'm. I think I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> well, the set the set I've seen is earthquake, ice shard, energy ball, and blizzard, and it actually completely wrecks people who are not prepared for it. Like, mixed attacking, because he gets 132 attack and special attack, which is pretty good. But, I don't know, like, if if he is not going to be one shot by a fire attack, he can take a hit. So his speed... And he's going to be two shot by a bunch of other attacks, because he's weak to everything. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, yeah, it'll hurt. He'll get off one attack, which will hurt. Well, if with and the right support Pokemon, he can actually do damage. But he, he I'm not gonna say he, he's the best, or even that he is mediocre, because he is pretty bad. I'm just saying. How about better than regular Obama Snow? <laughs> well, he gets uh, better attack <laughs> stats. <laughs> but that that's not why he dies before he can attack. <laughs> Well, I'm saying there are distinct ways to make him not die before he attacks. You just have... But the point is, my point is that out of the choices of Mega Evolutions, he's the worst. <laughs> like, there's no <laughs> I, I know, reason I know to that's pick what him saying. over anything else. <laughs> in my opinion. Like, if unless you're doing an extremely, like... I think he's better than Mega Like, Binette. niche team... I don't think that he's really all that viable. Mega Bennett is still very squishy. I mean, all it got is a 165 attack out of nowhere. He had 130 before, so that's not out of nowhere. Yeah, um, yeah. I guess he he always had high attack. I always kind of forget how how much attack he has. Um, but yeah, I'm, I think him up in third I'm sticking by mine. I think Mega Bennett is worse than Mega Obama Snow. Mega Bennett can mess up Mega Bombs now. No. I guess <laughs> it could use Will O Wisp and then it'll get one hit KO'd by Blizzard, so uh, there's that. I don't know. It it, it would definitely be a, a fight of the, the Titans of the worst. <laughs> one v one. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking one showdown. One v one, I think uh Obama's now would win, but you already know what I think, so we can <laughs> Because you just said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, like, in Actually, general. I think Bennett wins if they're running the offensive one you said. Because Bennett just sucker punches it. He'll live a sucker punch. On turn he's one. He'll, he'll live a sucker punch. He's got 105 defense yeah, but and then, 90 HP. But it sucker punches it on turn one, so it gets a bunch of damage in because it still gets the, it gets the 165 attack. And it gets the priority. So it sucker punches for a bunch of damage, and then it just kills it. I don't think I turn. don't think it will be killed by one sucker punch. No, I'm saying it sucker punches on turn one, turn two it's faster and it just kills it. 
Uh, well, that's, the that's saying if uh, Mega Manette can survive a blizzard and hail damage on the first turn. I think it would. Its special defense is 83? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. For this Anyhow. 1v1, I will be putting 252 special defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. All right. All nature. <laughs> We're we're doing good uh, on time too. We just have fifty minutes, so we can wrap this up uh, nicely. Let's see. Put a bow By on it. Three, put it under the I Christmas tree. Yeah. Number three. <laughs> probably. Oh, there's so many to choose from. They're all so bad. I know. That's what I was saying last generation one, and then you all booed me. I said that there were only like three. That's because you were saying the good ones were part of the bad <laughs> ones. <laughs> Like Absol, <laughs> yeah. You changed your I you was changed your stance mediocre. on Absol. I'm pretty sure none of us were arguing how good Mega Obama Snow was going to be on the no, last episode. I was just saying there are only like I wasn't even counting Mega Blaziken in that statement because I knew he was going to be banned. I was just counting Gengar, um, Kangaskhan, and Mawile, which I think are the solid three, which are the solid two now because Gengar is banned. So anyway, yeah. Uh, number three is probably Obama Snow, because at least he still sets up the snow. <laughs> he's like the only but, one that does, right? But he's no, strictly that, worse that than man. regular Obama Snow. The dinosaur man can do it too, although I don't know how oh, to yeah. get his ability because it's unobtainable. Probably from Global Maybe Link. An event. I think you're gonna have to play Where's some he? shitty Global Link mini game to get him. Um, number two <laughs> is a tough choice between, I guess it would be Aerodactyl, although Aerodactyl Mega Manetric is also very bad. In doubles, he's pretty good. Mega Manetric, <laughs> I don't care about this. I think. So I'm going to go with Aerodactyl because he doesn't, he's just really bad. He's barely better than regular Aerodactyl. He isn't even. It's very sad because he doesn't get yeah. items. Um, and my worst well but Aerodactyl didn't get a good item anyhow oh that's true I don't know he still he could be worse though you're right cause Focus Sash <coughs> Stealth Rock Aerodactyl might actually be good again <laughs> that'd be so funny if it was become full circle and my number one worst of the worst Mega Gyarados really <laughs> He's worse in every way. What? He is inferior to regular Gyarados. I will admit, ma regular Gyarados He's is probably better, but 155 attack, 130 special defense, 109 defense, 81 speed. Typing, worse. Ability, worse. You like, can Earthquake moves. the Rotom now. What? You can Earthquake Rotom and kill him. It's not bad. You don't have Intimidate. You get hurt by everything. You have Intimidate you have before you Mega Evolve. <laughs> Which basically One, gives you, you a free Mega Evolve, and that's it. Well, Mola like, was in the same Gengar, place. And he's, uh, bulky like, Gyarados was just so good, because it could switch in repeatedly. And what's just Mega Gyarados' now? speed? I think it's the same. 81. Mega Gyarados Might be arguably I thought he was could switch then. in even more because he's not weak to stealth rocks when he Mega Evolves. Yeah, but now he's Dark Type. Dark Type's awful. Dark Type is awful. I will agree. He's weak to fighting like that. <laughs> that's fighting true. fairy. Yeah. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's just. He's, he is. He he is the worst. I wouldn't say he's like, the Gyar worst. Just regular Gyarados is so much better. That's like saying Mega Tyranitar is the worst because he doesn't need to Mega Evolve. He's still both of them are still decent. I don't think Mega Gyarados is decent. Really? Well you're you're yeah. gonna get some comments about that. <laughs> I think I don't think he's good. Have Why you would you ever use him on what team wants this thing? One that loses? Oh <laughs> Oh damn like, if you want it <laughs> oh. if you want it to be <laughs> A bulky water, there's better options. There are definitely better options. If you want him to be a sweeper, there's better options. A regular Gyarados you, is better. Just he gets everything. Everything is better than him. Does nothing. You got your man. 
There are other Megas that are clearly worse than Mega Gyarados. Like Obama Snow. Like Obama Snow. Like <laughs> the Aerodactyl that you just See, listed. Gyarados can at least kill Obama Snow. Gyar Gyarados can at least kill uh, Mega Amphros here. Piece of shit. <laughs> I don't know. I think you were flawed. But... Can we just notice that um, Mega Tyranitar has an arrow pointing to his crotch? Mega Tyranitar is <laughs> hideous. <laughs> Oh. Mega Metacham is a ball sack. So. Yeah, he is a ball sack. But I only got that because my friend nicknamed him that nickname, and then it connected. <laughs> Scrody McBooger Balls. <laughs> Scrody McBooger Balls. <laughs> That's basically what he named him. I think, aesthetically, I, I still <laughs> think Mega Manetric is the worst. Like, uh, Mega Manetric oh, yeah. is Lightning so bolt on ugly. Feet. <laughs> yeah. He's so ugly. I just want to strangle him. But you can't, because there's... He's he got no, no neck. neck. <laughs> He's just holding up his big <laughs> lightning bolt head. Yeah, I... He also looks like he's been run over by something. <laughs> like sideways. He's completely flat. <laughs> pancake lightning bolt with legs. The, I mean, right. yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so you guys disagree. I still think that Mega Gengar is terrible. Uh, Mega Gyarados is terrible. <laughs> like, what? No, I'm making Gengar. I'm making I Gengar is very. Don't good. think he's the worst of the bunch. I'm. I definitely think he is in the mediocre range, but not the worst. Can, can we do? I think just compared to what. Yeah, but his regular form is. You're just saying that Gyarados he's is so good. He's so disappointing. We already know Gyarados is good, but Mega Gyarados he can still be used. But, like, at least these other guys are better than their regular form. Some of them, most of them. He is way worse than regular Gyarados. Uh, how does the speed get lower? Oh, it stays the it's the same. So, I mean, you could. S what if you said Mega uh, Garchomp is the worst because his speed get lowers? Speed actually. I'm goes not down. talking about just his stats. I'm talking about generally. He's just worse. He is worse. Just worse. Like everything about him, just worse. <laughs> okay. Can, can we do two things before the episode's before, over? Okay, yeah. One is um, Pokemon. One Pokemon we'd like to see get a Mega Evolution in the next game. Mm. And the other one would be your favorite competitive Pokemon to use so far. Oh. All right. Well, let's. Should we talk about the rest of these guys real quick? We didn't talk about all. Oh, I mean, we we're at an no, hour, no, fifty-seven minutes. All right. I mean, we'll just go through real quick. <coughs> like Thirty seconds on each one. Mega Venusaur. C cool beans. He's 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 pretty good. Um, uh, yeah. Decent. Decent. Misses leftovers. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, the Charizards. Uh, which one do you think uh, is better? Uh, X is better because of dragon typing and better. Well, Tough Claws is good. Uh, popping a Drought is really good, but you're still weak to rocks. Both of them are. Depends really on good. your team. Yeah, both of them are actually really good, which is amazing to say. I think both of them are. Good right now. They won't be yeah. on Poke Bank. Yep. <laughs> Probably. I agree. Yeah. Uh, Mega Charizard X has a better chance because he's only single weak to Stealth Rocks. Mm -hmm. And has so. Dragon Dragon. Uh, and not weak and, to Fairy. And Roost too. Yeah. So he he could stick around. Charizard Y won't. Uh, Unless you're see. running a Sun Team. Pinsir. Oh. Uh, Pinsir is actually we really good. Pinsir is uh, air late quick attack is really powerful. Our air late yeah. thrash. I haven't used him yet. He seems. Air Link Good Return though. was at 103 base power stab. That's really, really powerful. Yeah. I was yeah. like, I, w I had Trevenant out, and I forgot this thing existed, and it killed me. Yep. Yeah. Because Quick Attack was, well, it actually didn't kill me, but I got out of there quick. Because it took me down to red, but then I citrus buried, and I was like, whoop, see you later. Because I thought uh, I would wall it, but Air Link. VTubes? X and Y? I don't even think about that. Never used them. I don't know what they 194 do. special One of them attack. has 194 base special attack. It's and 140 speed. That seems pretty good. Yeah. And Insomnia. The Y one seems very good. Yeah. In, u in Ubers. Yeah, I would. Uh, Steadfast just seems like a waste of an ability, kind of. Yeah. But Insomnia checks Darkrai, it gets Aura Sphere. Yeah, he's gonna, it's he's gonna be on every Ubers team for sure. Yeah. He's better than Life right. Orb Mewtwo. Someone was arguing Life Orb Mewtwo is better. I don't think so. I don't know. That Insomnia is really nice, yeah. actually. Uh, uh, who else didn't we talk about? Guard of War. Oh, Tyranitar. Uh, he's ugly and he's not worth it. <laughs> it's very sad. 
I mean, he's only yeah, worth it if you were going to have Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance on him is pretty good. Yeah, maybe. Uh, he might be okay as a sweeper. Yeah, as a sweeper uh, only, see. but as a defensive role, yep. it's kind of, yeah. No, you yeah. want leftovers. Yeah. Gardevoir. Uh, I f I'm very disappointed in Gardevoir. It almost made my worst list. I was thinking about it. Has a, it has a cool shiny. Sh yeah, sure. Uh, it, yeah. it does. It's like, I know, it's, it's instead of white, it's black. Yeah. Yeah. Gardevoir and Gengar, I think, have the coolest ones. 65 defense. Uh... <laughs> With 68 HP. Yeah. yeah. Moonblast is annoying, though. I'll give it that. Moonblast is annoying, but it's... <laughs> I don't know. Like, he needs Reflect or something. Like, I think he can learn it, though, so maybe... Yeah, I can. Yeah, pretty mediocre, though. I agree. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And Garchomp is the next. Metacham we talked about briefly. Metacham Basically, his typing... Good. I think uh, Fake hurt. Out Mega Metacham is actually really good, because it allows you to transform safely while you flinch them or force a switch. Yeah. And then when you come back in later, that Fake Out <laughs> is going to be pure power, 100 base attack. It's I think it already is pure power. Well, if you Mega Evolve, it should already be pure yeah, power. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying... His ability is pure power. I know, yeah, I know. I'm just saying I'm his saying, attack will go up, and so it'll hit for right. more damage. No, I'm saying the first pure, the first fake out should already be pure yeah, power. Yeah, 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 it is. I agree. I made, I made a boo-boo. It's okay. Uh, last one, Garchomp. Garchomp is extremely <laughs> underwhelming, although I really want to run a uh, mixed attacking one with Draco Meteor, Iron Head, Earthquake, and uh, Fire Blast. But its speed is so low. It, every other dragon is going to kill it. Yeah. Uh, though, to be fair, regular Gengar's speed is kind of low now, too. So it might not make as much no, of a difference. Regular Gengar's speed is pretty good. It's 102. It is pretty good. No, but no it's, regular Gengar is 110. In... No. It's 102. No, it's 110. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm afraid I'm right. I I'm... I eat and breathe Gengar, I know. Oh, Gen I'm, we're talking about Garchomp. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. Oh. You did say Gengar, though, Matt. I was. Oh, sorry. Okay, my mistake. Yeah, then. regular Garchomp yeah. is better, and that is, it's sad. Yeah, uh, he's still good though, just not worth the Mega Stone. I would, like, I would do be a better just use it on someone else. I would have like a secret special attacker, um, in the like form that? of Mega. That would be that cool. typing's just so good. Yeah. He's going to be good in spite of himself, basically. Uh, Sand Force is pretty scary, too, yeah. if weather still existed. This so. could exist, but yeah, more often than not. <coughs> uh, and that's, that's it. That's it. So we'll do next questions. Yay. Uh, next, next questions? Oh, Nick has questions. I already yeah. said them. Um, what Pokemon do you want to get a Mega Evolution? Oh. And who's your favorite competitive Pokemon right now? Okay. Free Pokebank. Oops. Obviously, because you haven't been able to test the metagame after it. Mm hmm. But, okay, so Pokemon, do you want a Mega Evolution for the next game? Go. Uh, I, th I think um, we might get more Megas this game, actually, since they have been. They've patched the game th twice. We're playing mm -hmm. on 1.2 now. So that. That's kind of what, what, what does that mean? Uh, they could they, they could they could patch material. the game and just add Pokemon data. Yeah, but what? Did, no, I'm saying what did they patch? Uh, they patched uh, the uh, quick check thing. They like uh, they did. Yeah, they patched it so you oh. can't use it anymore because that program has the potential to see everything on the opponent's team and just win. Uh. So that's really broken. And Nintendo, for some reason, has a brain right now, and they're like, we're gonna block that. So that's what the latest uh, 1.2 patch was. So I think, Anyhow, yeah, but who, I think. Who do you want to see get a Mega? Mega Lu Ludicolo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. With big, thick brown lips. That is, does any, is Swift Swim still banned? No, it's not. You can use it. I, I All right, that's the next team I'm making. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> as soon as Pokebank's back, I guess. Or you could Because I'm not doing any more videos till then. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have them pre-recorded. I don't want to do new battles. Yeah, when, they when does Pokebank come out again? Because I don't even... It's coming. The end of the 27th. month. 27th. 27th, yeah. okay. Which is a weird day, in my opinion, but... It's a weird day. Like, why not just the 31st or... 
Like and your first. favorite competitive Pokemon? Oh, uh, probably Malamar. Even though I know he's not that great, I just like using him. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, all right, mine. Let's see. For Mega Evolution, I don't know. A lot of my guys got them, and then they weren't very good, which made me sad. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess Chandelure. St- that would be fun. He's your favorite. Oh, oh, for a mega. <laughs> Just evolution. turn into a giant. Well, no, I mean Umbreon's not gonna get one, and I wouldn't want it to because yeah. it'll look dumb. It would look super ugly. It. Yeah. it would just turn into a moon. <laughs> Gengar got one. Yeah. Houndoom got one. Banet got one. Like all my guys got them already, so I'm just gonna go. Yeah, with I could see Chandelier. Chandelier. I've seen fan art for Chandelier. Um, uh, and my favorite mega, uh, my favorite competitor Pokemon. I should just say Klefki because I use it. Boo! <laughs> I, I I don't know. It might Boo. be because it did get me to the highest I've ever been on the Boo. on the showdown the leaderboards. Yeah, the yeah. Swag I think keys. I'm at fifteen hundred right now. I haven't um, even played showdowns since but like a y, X and Y game. I actually didn't. I I'm gonna say Gengar because it's always good and it's still yeah, really good. He's and high it on my list. Just again. gets me out of spots that. <clears> I actually want to change my in. answer to. Instead of me- what? instead of Mega Ludicolo, we need Mega Weavile with Technician. It needs to happen. Oh, there you go. It needs to happen, Game Freak. I know you're monitoring my phone calls and you're listening to this. So <laughs> make it happen. How about you, Nick? Um, Mega Evolution will probably be Scrafty. Ooh, that'd be cool. Because they could get rid of his terrible typing now. <laughs> Oh, and that's so sad. Well, I'm sorry, but quad week to fairy is just awful. Oh, like I have, I actually have a uh, a um, uh, Scrafty named Agritech that I'm <laughs> waiting to use. He's it's really hard to get a, a team for him, especially now. In fifth gen, it wasn't that hard, but now it's harder because well, yeah, he hates fairies. But like, I I don't know. Like, I can't think of another typing that would help him. I mean, maybe if he dropped fighting and got dragon. Well, if he mega evolves, he'll probably get. Dropped. He'll probably get. No, because that's still quad, weak to fairy. Well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> ma- what if he gets insane special defense so that he can take fairy hits? It'll be great. What about defense dark steel? Well, in, he's already in the dragon egg group. Yeah. Um, that's why I was thinking dragon. Fighting but dragon, that would actually be cool. Fighting dragon would be kind of cool. There hasn't been one typing. yet. Yeah. Um. Anyway, and my favorite competitive Pokemon is Trevenant. Yeah, he is really fun. I freaking love it. <laughs> it wins me games. Just, just it just stalls everything. It is super good. At Except stalling. other Trevenant. Yeah. <laughs> In which case, they think I'm gonna do. I don't. They always try to will wisp me, so I substitute. And mine, I think they run low speed. I think mine like. How much like, speed are you running? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember if I put oh, anything in faster it. than that. But they, they, it's always faster than the other Trevenant. Um, and then, so I'll substitute, the burn won't hit, and then I just Shadow Claw them. And, because I can't Leech Seed them. Yeah, yeah. There, there are some sets that run speed, so they can outrun Azumarill and stuff, so. Well, Azumarill, the only thing that really hurts Trevenant on uh, Azumarill is Play Rough. Play Rough 1, I mean, Play Rough 1 hit KOs really it, good. by the way. <laughs> What? Let's just make it clear. Play rough one hit KOs Trevenant, so it's kind of a problem. D- are you sure? I'm, I've choice seen it. Does. Yeah. Okay. Well, I uh, I don't think I've come across a choice banded one then. No. Oh. <laughs> I um, mean, maybe the. I guess it probably depends on if you did full defense, it might survive, but it's gonna hurt. A oh, lot. that's why. Uh, 252 HP, 120 defense, 132 speed. That's not bad. I like that. Yeah. I might uh, steal that. For my uh, cursing one, and it just harvest citrus berries forever. Yeah, that's fine. I really want to do a harvest citrus berry trick room one. It's like trick room. That's what. Well, that's times. what I'm doing. But in trick room, he, you know, it's it's kind of like if we're gonna close the eyes, then I'm still fast enough to do things. Mm-hmm. But I think I still am slower than a lot. So I kind of want to do wood hammer with uh, a, a citrus berry harvest. So like hurt myself down to the citrus berry, and then I eat it, and then I get the health back. I think that would be fun. I also like tricking people. You realize they're going to be attacking you though too, so that's going to make your health go down as well. Yeah, that's but why people use horn leech. 
Yeah, but yeah. Th there's a chance to get it back every turn. It's a fifty percent chance, but yeah. What do you mean fifty percent? I thought it was uh, in harvest. It's it's only fifty outside of the sun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, well, now you know. Mm -hmm. And knowing is half the battle. It is. That's like right. in. We're done. <laughs> oh, I was gonna tell you my secret strategy. I want to. I want to hear Zubo. a secret strategy of. Well, it's not really that big of a deal, but is I said substitute on the switch. And no, then I use a Wakan berry, <laughs> <laughs> and and it's funny because I'll Aqua Jet and they will see or they'll attack me and they'll see that I don't have leftovers, so they'll switch. But I'll predict a switch because like they, I think you know, I'm pretty sure they think I'm choice banded, right? Mm -hmm. And so. I'll just like s like play rough whatever they switch into because I'm they think I'm locked into Aqua Jet or whatever, yeah. And and then I'm not and they're like what? <laughs> and then they try to attack me with Rotom and like a Volt Switch and it does nothing. Well, it does something, but not yeah. as much I, as I, I think it's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I still just like Choice Band because it the just power kills the power. everything. The power. I hope you guys get lots of gifts from Delibird. Ho, ho, ho! It's the end of the podcast. Don't r forget to comment, like, and subscribe to all of us, or Santa will kill you. Leave birdseed and milk for Delibird. <laughs> <laughs> Although, he might leave an explosion. <laughs> oh, sh... Oh, <laughs> what is it, like, 50%? We, do, we yeah. don't want any explosions on Christmas. It's just not... Happy Christmas. Happy, Kwanzaa. happy, happy, happy Christmas. What's the other one, Hanukkah? Is this the Later, guys. Goodbye. Bye.